ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೆ ರಾಧಿಕಾ ಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬೃಂದಾವನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದುಭ್ಯವೆಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೆಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದೇ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂ ಚರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿಂ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತಥೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶೆ ಗೌರೀಯಪತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರು ಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದರುನ್ ದೇಹ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನ ಭವಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯಂ ವೇತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನುತಪಾಲ್ ಭವಾಧಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷ ತೇ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಶಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಧೂಷ್ವಾದರ್ಶ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಅಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕಾಬುಧಾತು ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶ್ವಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರೌ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೌ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರೌ ಕರುಣಾವತಾರೌ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿ ದಿವ್ಯೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಾಸಿ ನೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭೂಷಿತ ಬಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗ ಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವೀಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ ಚ ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ್ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ 
भयम द्वितीयो विनिवेशत सात ईशात अपेत विपर्य अश्रुति तन्मयाय अतो आवय तम बुध भक्तिक ऐशम गुरुदेव तात्मा भयम द्वितीय विनिवेशत सात ईशात अपेत विपर्य अश्रुति तन्मयाय अतो बुध आवय तम भक्तिक ऐशम गुरुदेव तात्मा गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी डॉक्टर प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल अकॉर्डिंग टू योर सबमिशन ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ ए सदगुरु यू कैन गेट रेजल्ट गौरीय गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत प्रभुपा परमंश जगत गुरु टोल According to the sub, according to the ratio of your submission, and to the lotus feet of Sadguru Pad Padma, you can get result of your bhajan. If your submission is fifty percent, you can get result fifty percent. If your submission is eighty percent, you can get result eighty percent. But when you are going to so 100% submission 100% submission then 100% sure you are going to get the kipa of guru pad padma because from chaitanya charitamrita we know these words very well known diksha kale shishya kare atma samarpan sei kale krishna tare kare atma sam this verse is very important very common at the time of your submission if your submission is 100% perfect then surely you can get the full kripa of guru pad padma you can enjoy full kripa and you can develop dibbo gyan because krishna is standing i mean baladev is standing akar guru tatva always watching us is there any duplicity in us or sincerity there or duplicity accordingly baldav ji maharaj ke arrange accordingly baldav ji maharaj ke arrange surely you can keep faith that's why popad used to say that sri chaitanya mahaprabhu and those sincere devotees of go of goriamat they are eternally present in goriamat popa told the chaitanya mahaprabhu and his eternal sincere those who are his sincere sevaks they are eternally present in goriamat eternally present in goriamat eternally present in goriamat so according to our submission we can get result there is no mistake on the part of guru pad padma guru pad padma waiting to receive me that's why in third canto you can find one shloka that this body we are going to live within very short period within very short period we are going to live this dog cat or fox they can eat up this body eat up this body so if you are going to enjoy full kripa of baldav ji maharaj sincere if you are sincere in that case there is no problem can stand but in bonded condition always some sort of fear always some sort of fear following us what is the reason what is the reason behind it that we all feeling some sort of fear
unknown fear. Some sort of unknown fear going to follow us. We are in tension, knowingly, unknowingly, has some tension here. This is because we are not 100% inclined unto the Lord's feet of Guru Padma. Or I can say, we have some different avilas, annavilas. If annavilas is there inside me, then surely some sort of fear can chase me all the time. That day I was speaking that if I like to hide something in front of Guru Vaishnava, not going to open our heart openly, Gurudev, see my dirty heart. You see my dirty heart. You please save me. Without duplicity, if I am going to open my heart and so, Gurudev, my condition is this. You save me. In that case, Gurudev can save me. But if I like to hide something, if I have some annavilas, in that case, fear must be there. So, vayam dityo vinavishataha shat. Ishat apetosho viparja asriti. If I can get in touch with Guru Vaishnava and Bhagavan, Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan means Guru Parampara, genuine Parampara. If I am continuously in touch with Pohupad, Bhaktivinoda Chakur, or right Parampara, then there is no problem. If I am in touch with Bhagavan, Nityananda, all the time, no problem. Then there is no problem. Many sloka there in 10th canto, 5th canto, so many sloka there. There is. So, if there is annavilas, then there, you cannot open your heart in front of Guru Pat Padma. In that case, you cannot get kripa, you cannot go, you cannot do bhajan perfectly. So, vayam dityo vinivishyata asat ishat apad ishat mane from Bhagavan Guru Vishnu. So long as I am in touch with Guru Varga, like one iron piece, so long as you are going to put in glowing fire, the iron piece is black, I know, but in contact with fire, it can take the form of molten gold like fire. But when you can take the iron bar outside that fire, after some time, when that iron bar can cool down, you can again discover blackness. Similarly, when we can get in touch with Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan continuously, continuously, non-stop, then in that case, no dissatisfaction, no dissatisfaction, no problem can touch us. We can get in touch with Guru Parampara, Min, Baudaji Maharaj, Min, Anantadev. We, we can get in touch with Guru Parampara, Guru Parampara, Min, Baudaji Maharaj, Baudaji Maharaj, Min, Anantadev. So, when, you, when your heart is going to extend up to infinity, I mean, when you are going to invite Anantadev to sit inside your heart, then no problem. So long as narrowness is there inside your heart, some prejudicial conception, some ignorant there, some misconception, follow, some doubts and suspicion, till then you cannot get satisfaction. Till that you cannot get satisfaction. Big problem. That is why in Bhagavad Gita Mahapuran, first canto, you can see Sukhdev Goswami path giving answer to the question of Parikhid Maharaj. 
Parikhit Maharaj asking that how I can become fearless? What bhajan I can do? What is the procedure? What is the actual bhajan procedure? So that I can become fearless. Then, Sukhdev Goswami is speaking that you can become fearless if you can do Hari Bhajan. If you can do Hari Bhajan, then you can become fearless. Otherwise, there is no other way. Bhayam Pramattasya Banishu Pishad Bhayam Pramattasya Banishu Pishad Yataha Shaste Sahasat Patnya Jitendriyasya Atma Ratir Budhasya Sankshara Vandan King Nukaroti Avadhyam Brahma speaking to his grandson Priyabrata. Priyabrata don't like to stay in family life. He like to go and start Hari Bhajan under the guidance of Naradmani. But anyway, our Manu Maharaj going to request Brahma to bring back his son. He's gone to forest. He is less interested to lead this material life he don't like. But how I can, uh, because now I am growing old age, so my son can take over my church, but he's gone to forest. Then by the request of Manu Maharaj, Brahma went there where, where Priyabrata taking lesson from Naraji Maharaj in a very solitary place. In that case, there is so many conversation. I don't like to discuss all this. Main thing, what Brahma wanted to advise, Bhayam Pramattasya Baneshu Pishat. If you are going to take decision that I cannot stay in in the society, I can go to some solitary place to do bhajan. If you take decision, then you will have to think that you are going with your material mind. You are going to forest, I know. Externally, you are going to a solitary place, but you are going with your material mind. That you should not forget. You are going to forest, solitary place, but you are going with your material mind, which is, the, which is the main problem. Which is the main problem, no? You are going with your material mind. So, so long as you are going to stay with your material mind and intellect, anywhere you stay, it matters little. It matters little where you are staying. In front of Thousands of people are in forest, everywhere problem. Because you are saying with your material mind and intellect. They can put you in problem. They can put you in problem. Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking to Uddhavji Maharaj, na? Arjun, you are searching your enemy. But enemy is there inside you. Kama, Krodha, Loba, Moha, Masyaji, all six enemies are there, always disturbing you. You cannot maintain stability of your mind is impossible. And if stability of mind is not possible, how you can do bhajan? First of all, you have to resolve, resolve all problems. You have to come to a very, very, you know, nice platform. From where? You can understand where is Hari, Hari Bhajan. So, it matters little whether you are going to uh, take you, take yourself in a solitary place, or you are going in, in front of thousands of people. But if you become Jitendriya, if you can get control over your mind and sense, organs, by Guru Shiva, that is the main vital point. Without Guru Shiva, 
Nobody can get control over sense organ and mind. Nothing. Without Guru Seva, Guru Vaishnav Seva. Guru means Vaishnav, Vaishnav means Guru. And especially if I am going to take shelter of Sadguru, is Seva very important. So, Guru Seva, without Guru Seva, without Guru Vaishnav Seva, nobody can cut anartha. Without Guru Vaishnav Seva, nobody can cut anartha. Anartha you cannot cut, anyhow. You can try your best, but you cannot cut anartha. Anartha you cannot cut. That's why only Guru Seva, only and only by Guru Vaishnav Seva, you can cut anartha. Very easily. By Guru Seva, Vaishnav Seva, you can cut anartha very easily. That's why nothing more auspicious, not, nothing more auspicious than Guru Seva. Guru Seva is the most auspicious thing by the help of which you can cut all your anartha, all your problem can go away and you can do Hari Bhajan and finally by Guru Kipa you can reach that eternal world. You can get eternal world. Otherwise there is no way. So, Guru Seva is the most vital thing. Without Guru Seva, there is no other way open in front of us. Now, main question is that the nature of bonded soul is to find fault with others. It is the chronic disease of bonded soul to find fault with others. Bonded soul cannot see his or her own fault. Bonded soul cannot see his or her own fault. Bonded soul always busy to find fault with others. He has done this, he has done this, yeah, you see. That is the main problem. And that is why bonded soul, if not 100% submit, bonded soul means bonded condition. Bonded soul, when going to show 100% submission, then by, by the mercy of Guru Vishnu Kiva, bonded condition cannot stay. Naturally, like mathematics, if I am 100% inclined unto Guru, Ma, Guru Mahar, I have a bonded soul. But when I am submit, Dikha Kale Shishya Kare Atma Samarpan, Shai Kale Krishna Tare Kare Atma Sam. Then all problem over. But bonded soul always going to find faults with other. In bonded condition, he is not going to submit 100%. He has taken Dikha. Ah, I have taken Diksha. From whom? Ah, this Maharaj, really. But Diksha is not perfect. Diksha is not perfect. It's perfect. Diksha, Prabhupada many times told, is Diksha is, is Diksha is not perfect. If Diksha is perfect, then why is not developing Dibba Gyan? Why he cannot realize Tattva Gyan and nothing? Speaking all rubbish. Why? Because Tattva Gyan is not there. So, when you are going to approach one Sadguru, then Gurudev is going to rectify you. This point you forget. It is the responsibility of Guru Vaishnava to rectify you. But you forget this point. Guru Vaishnava is going to say, why you are doing this? You say, then you become very angry. Then you become very angry. When Guru Vaishnava is going to point out your fault, that this is your mistake, you try to rectify, then you become very angry. Then how you can rectify you? If I am not going to give scope to my Guru Maharaj, that you please rectify me. How Guru Maharaj can rectify me? I will have to give scope, na? Then Guru Maharaj can. But our condition is very poor condition. Popa speaking, sometime Guru Vishnu become very heavy. Sometime Guru Vishnu become very heavy, chiding, speaking heavily to rectify you. It seems like criticism. 
It seems like criticism, but it is not criticism. Criticism. Papa speaking, sometime Guru Vaishnava become very heavy to speak heavily, to point out, to point out faults, what is there, what fault is there in me? Then it seems it is criticism, but it is not criticism. It is not criticism. Guru Vaishnava sometime bound to point out my faults, it is not at all criticism. But when bonded soul going to find out fault in others, it is called criticism, which is strictly prohibited. You cannot understand the very, very fine point of demarcation. You don't understand. You are in confusion. But Gurudev himself told not to criticize anybody. He is himself criticizing. Why is it? Baba speaking, Sometime, Guru Vaishnava become bound to speak heavily, to discuss the situation in which we are put into, but that is not criticism. Because criticism means have some, have some enviousness. Criticism coming from enviousness. Criticism coming from conviousness. But Gurudev is going to point out my faults. It is not criticism. But I become very angry. I become very angry. I want to prove. I want to prove in front of Gurudev. Gurudev, your luck is very good. That I have taken shelter onto your lotus feet. I am from a very high family. Rich family. Very... I have taken, say, you are beggar, what you have. So I have taken shelter, you, that is, you should be, you should feel lucky. That is at present condition of Guru Shishya relationship. That is a relationship at present between Guru and Shishya. Very, very poor condition. Shishya cannot be here. If I see that you have done mistake, you have done mistake, but you become very angry. Gurudev criticizing me. This way, there is no scope, no way that Gurudev can save you. No way out. How can save? How Gurudev can save? The relationship between Gurudev and Shisho is so fine. That anyhow, anytime you can make aparat if you are not established in Guru Tattva. If you are not established in Guru Tattva, I mean Vaishnava Tattva, Guru Tattva, you can make mistake. Hundred percent. You cannot understand the mood of Guru Vaishnava. You can find some fault with Guru Vaishnava. You would like to cut relationship with Guru Vaishnava. Very good. Guru Dev become very happy. Very happy. Get lost. If you like to get lost in Maya, okay, you go away. Gurudev is not going to cry for that. Inside he is going to express some grief. I wanted to help him to come up, but he like to challenge Gurudev. He has to challenge Gurudev. Without me, how Gurudev can do? This is their Guru Darshan. This is their Guru Darshan. Without me, how? They are not going to, they are not going to check up what they are doing themselves. All they are doing without the permission of Guru Vaishnava. Whatever doing, whatever doing, not under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava. They think so. They think so, we are doing Guru Seva. But they are not at all under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava. They are doing fancifully. They think, I am doing this, so Gurudev must be very happy. It is called auto-suggestive method. It is called auto-suggestive method. I am doing this, so Gurudev must be very happy. You take information about the heart of Guru Padma, you know? Guru Padma, not Popa speaking, Ashuddha Guru Vaishnav, never want to see the number the so number of devotees following him. 
Pure Guru Vaishnava never going to count how many people following. No. They are not inter less interested about number, how many people. They are less interested. They are interested about the quality. They are interested about the quality. This Jivatma coming to me, this Jivatma coming to me, how I can take this flower and offer unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan. When in front of pure Guru Vaishnava, somebody coming, that you save me, then Guru Vaishnava going to give treatment, going to, going to check up very carefully to help him to come up after that matured flower, full-fledged flower, when that Jivatma under the guidance of Guru Vaishnava can get the power to do Hari Bhajan Guru Vaishnava, Guru Vaishnava Bhajan Seva, maturity can get after hearing Hari Katha under the guidance, strict guidance, then Guru Vaishnava very happy is going to take the flower, I mean the Jivatma, and going to offer unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, I get one nice flower for your seva. That is the mood of pure Guru Vishnu. They are not going to count the number of monkey. They are not going to count the number of monkey. How many monkeys I am giving it? Our temple is always 500 people filled up. You are making monkey. 500 people. 500 people, 500 people, or there you are making monkey. You are expressing false ego. Ah, oh, our temple is always full of 500. Are you foolish. 500 people, who they are? You check up. You check up their condition. You are successful to change their heart. You are successful to change. Or what to speak, you, you are successful to ch change your own heart. You are successful to change your own heart. How you can change other? So, this is the main condition, main problem. Pure Guru Vaishnav never going to count how many people are going to follow. Him. Going to see the qualities. They are getting maturity. They are getting maturity. Someday I can, I can offer them unto the lotus feet of Bhagavan, Bhagavan, I get one nice flower for your seva, eternal seva. That is the condition. So, you should not forget this point, what Prabhupada told. What is this? Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and all his sincere sevak, those who are servants, eternally present in Goryamat. You forget this point. You are making offense unto the lotus feet of the Prabhupada. You are making aparad unto the lotus feet of the Prabhupada. You are making offense. Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada personally, personally approved them, or those who are in followers, perfectly. Sila. Bhakti Sharanga Gosai Maharaj, whose name was Atul Krishna Bandopadhyay, high class Brahman family, very high class, very top class Brahman family. Atul, At Atul Chandra Bandopadhyay, his name was said. He took birth in Bankura, Bankura, one place, Parthoshai. One place name is Parthoshai. Parthoshai. The name of the place is Parthoshai, Bankura. He took birth there in a very high family. Father gone. Anyway, I am not going in detail. I, I like to discuss about his morality, his idealism, Guru Seva that much. He took birth okay. He was a first class railway officer. In Dhanbad, Dhanbad, one place where colliery mine, mine, mine colliery, colliery mine, there, mine, collier, coal, coal mine, there. There, a railway station, he was the first class officer, and there, going to meet with Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati. He was in the officer, and there, by chance, Popat went there. He meet with Prabhupada at the first sight. 
he could realize eternal relationship with Guru Path Padma. And it's a very pure Brahmin family, so he requested Prabhupada to stay, to stay in my place. So it was railway quarter given by government. There Prabhupada stayed there for three days. Popar stayed there for three days for preaching. Popa stayed there for preaching. And within three days, what kind of seva done by Atulananda Vandavadhyay is inconceivable. Immediately, Prabhupada could realize that is my eternal person. Eternal person. After that, Prabhupada came, came back in Mayapur. Atulananda Vandavadhyay wanted to give resignation, resignation, resign in his service and all his furniture, all whatever their items in the room, wife, all together, all items he put in a very big lorry, I mean car carriage van, put everything, table, chair, whatever they have, all coming to yoga pit without asking, coming and Prabhupada was in informed the Atulananda Bhadavada leave his previous home and come with wife. Now whatever you like to do. Wife was offered unto the lotus feet of Popa. Wife was given separate accommodation. And Atulananda Bhadavada started serving Prabhupada from heart. Full time service. Such a seva you cannot imagine. Finally, after taking Harinam Diksha, his name was Aprakita Prabhu. His name was Aprakita Prabhu. Otulananda Bandhavadhyay, Otulananda, this name means Otulananda meaning Otulananda. It cannot be compared with anything. Atul. That is called Atul. And Aprakita Prabhu, this name was given by Prabhupada. His name was Aprakita Prabhu. No link with wife. Wife staying in Jogopi, staying in different places, doing seva. And he started seva in such a way that Prabhupada was very happy. All collection, because that time there was shortage of money. Shortage of money. Now affluent money, no bhajan. Everywhere, money like, you know, but no bhajan. By that time, there was shortage of money. That was the blessing of Bhagavan. So, Atulananda Bandhavadhyay used to collect money for ma money, not only money, rice, dal, chapari, whatever. On behalf of Go Chaitanya Mahat, he used to collect. Big, big donation. His figure, his get up was so nice. If he is going anywhere, if somebody look at him, cannot speak anything. If he put on coat, pant, tie, everything, if he go, big, big man cannot talk with him. So heavy personality. Heavy, heavy personality. He used to serve this way. He was the main collector for, for Chaitanya Mahat. And all different seva, he was given because anyway he was great pandit of Sanskrit, Shastra, Sanskrit language, Hindi, English. English so fluent. English so heavy. So, so pandit in English. Follow. This way he started serving and many such seva he has done that you cannot compare with anybody. We think it is our general conception that if I can do something for Gurudev, giving some money, giving some, it is called Guru Seva. Okay, it is Guru Seva. People have, they have this kind of conception, if I am giving some money, something, it is Guru Seva. Okay, Guru Seva, it is okay. But you, don't understand the actual meaning of Guru Seva. Guru Seva means 
to carry out the order of Gurudev. We think usually, I am cooking from Gurudev, I am washing clothes, I am cleaning, so I am doing Guru Seva. It's Guru Seva. But you don't understand actual meaning of Guru Seva. If you want to get the scientific meaning of Guru Seva, that's when you will have to realize what Gurudev wants. What is the heart of Guru Padma? You will have to realize first. Without realizing whatever seva random, whatever seva random seva you like to do, you are doing. Oh, I have done Guru Seva. But you are not going to take information about the heart of Guru Padma. You don't understand. So, the actual scientific meaning of Guru Seva means to carry out the order of Guru Padma. If you want to apply this formula, then most of the people can go away. I mean, if you like to make one chart, who is the actual Shevak of Guru Padma? If you are going to approach this way, scientific way, then you can feel all other people, those who are getting the name of Guru Shevak, they can get eliminated. They cannot find any place in the list. So, actual scientific meaning of Guru Sheva means to carry out the order of Guru Padma. If you are successful to carry out the order of Guru Padma, or I would say, without order, without order, I can realize what Guru Padma wants. Try to understand, don't forget. Guru Padma is not giving direct order to me, but I realize what Guru Padma wants. Accordingly, I am doing. That is more important. Without asking, Gurudev not speaking. Gurudev not speaking, but disciple can understand what Guru Mahesh want to satisfy him. This kind of seva done by Atulananda Bandhavadya Aprakita Prabhu. This kind of seva done by Aprakita Prabhu. I can say one by one, if I go on, it will take long time. So I can speak one or two incident anyway. One or two incident I can speak. Popat was bound to speak one something about Atulananda Bandhavada in written form. Atulananda, who is Atulananda Prabhu? He Prabhupada wanted to describe. <coughs> Anyway, one or two incidents I can speak so that you can realize. It was the target of Prabhupada to preach the teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu all over the world. It was the target of Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada. And that is the main reason for why all Panchatattva and, Panchatattva and Guru Bhargava came in front of Prabhupada. And they instructed Prabhupada to go ahead. I, we are going to send all manpower, money for everything. So it was the target of Prabhupada to preach the teachings of Gauranga Map all over the world. But first of all, Prabhupada started preaching all over India, different places. Different places, Prabhupada. So when Prabhupada went to Kanpur, you heard the name of Kanpur, one place. If you go to Vindavan, you can meet one Kanpur station. But of course, if the train going this way, otherwise uh, if the train going other way, other station can come. So Kanpur, Prabhupada went there and uh, that this the district magistrate of Kanpur. The district magistrate of Kanpur, he heard one big sadhu, very important, big scholar and big sadhu, coming here. So he wanted to meet with Prabhupada. That time manpower was not so heavy. Manpower was not. But Prabhupada used to engage each and everybody in continuous seva. Manpower, manipower was not so high, but Prabhupada used to engage each and everybody in seva fraction of seva. Suppose you are coming back 
from you are coming back from South India. Long years for seva. Immediately, Papa is going to send you some other place. Papa don't allow anybody to stay in temple and take rest. Always. Hey, it was the nature of Papa. Any day. Suppose morning time, 9 o'clock, Madhu Gusema reaching temple. Then after that, Papa is asking, what seva you have at present? No seva at present. Then you immediately go, your ticket is ready, 4 o'clock, afternoon time, you can go to Mathura. Take prasadam and go. We think Guru Seva, Bhagavad Seva is a very joking one. We think Guru Seva is very easy. I, in family life, there is so much obligation there in home to arrange money and uh, 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 all seva, father, mother, everything. Now we hear it is very safe. We can take prasadam. Guru can apply oil to our lotus feet. It's very good. Gurudev can apply oil to us. us. Very good. But that is not Guru Seva. That was not the situation that time. That time, each and every Sevak of Goryamat, they were ready to give each and every drop of blood of their body. That is called Guru Seva. All of them were ready to give each and every drop of blood of their body for Gurudev. That was Guru Seva. Now Gurudev is going to apply this formula of flattering. Nice room, accommodation, nice prasadam, timely you can take sleep, noon time after taking prasadam. This is Guru Seva. But this is not Guru Seva. They are making mistake. You are making mistake. This is not Guru Seva. So, this way, Atulananda Bandhavadhyay gone to some other seva. Atulananda Bandhavadhyay gone to some other seva collection, this, that. In the meantime, that district magistrate coming straight to that place where Prabhupada was and going to, wanted to meet with Prabhupada. He was allowed to meet. He started talking with Prabhupada and started argument. He started argument with Prabhupada and speaking, it is your duty. Eh? You are going to take all young men from this society and going to engage in your, uh, they are going to make them, make them, you know, sannyas or brahmachari, mendicant. I mean, they, they are going to beg. You, may, you are going to make them beggar. They could do some, they could do something for country they could do something for father, mother, everything. Our country could, could make some economical development by, the, by this you know, manpower. You are engaging them. Fighting with Prabhupada. He is not going to allow. He is not going to allow anything to Prabhupada to speak. He started speaking. He is not allowing Prabhupada to speak anything. After that, Prabhupada was very sorry. Sorry in the sense... I could not deliver this fallen soul. I could not deliver this fallen soul. Only and only argument, argument, argument. After that, he take leave and gone away. Pope was very sorry. I could not deliver this bonded soul. I waste my time. I waste my time of Hari Bhajan. One hour, two hour, I lost. I couldn't do anything. In the meantime, Otulananda Prabhu, I mean Aprakita Prabhu coming back and going to pay Dandava to Prabhupada. It is the system. When they are going away, they can pay Dandava to Prabhupada. When they come, they can pay Dandava. When going to pay Dandava to Prabhupada, watching just some abnormal condition. Prabhupada is so heavy. Face is red, so heavy, feeling some pain. Atulanda asking, what happens, Prabhupada? Then Prabhupada wanted to explain this happened. The district magistrate came here to meet with me. He don't allow me to speak anything. He started speaking all, all rubbish and gone without hearing me. So I am very sorry. 
I waste my time, I couldn't do anything from him. At the same time, he has done some aparad also. Big aparad, na? Then, Atulananda Bandhava, I mean, Aprakita Babu, immediately take leave from Prabhupada. I am coming, Prabhupada. He gone to the house of that district magistrate, going to ring that bell. After that, he was successful to meet with that district magistrate. After that, Atulananda started speaking in such a way, heavy, heavy. Like he is like that district magistrate is a servant. District magistrate is a servant of this. A really servant. Because he is Vaishnava. He is servant. He has started speaking. You have done such a mistake. Done such a, you have committed such a opera that you are going to meet with big problem very shortly. You don't know. You don't know the sadhu with, with whom you met in the morning time. You don't know. He is the eternal person of Bhagavan. You write in diary, you are going to meet with big problems very shortly. He was, the presentation was so heavy in English that the district minister thinks I am servant in Bhanda. He become frightened. Oh, really? Yes. Then what is the solution? You must come with me right now. You must come with me right now to save yourself. Merely taking one taxi, coming in front of Prabhupada and entering the room and requesting Prabhupada be flat. Prabhupada, you please, you please save that man. He has done aparad. If you are not satisfied with him, then he can die. Then Prabhupada started speaking so many things. Why? The same question. Netaji Subhash Chandra Bosch, the freedom fighter, he wanted to put the same question in front of Papa. But at least he, he wanted to hear the answer. But he didn't give answer. He also, same thing. He told, I am going to, I am going to fight with British people, England, to make India free. So if you can give some brahmachari and sannyasi, for, for, for my freedom fighting, so they can help me. Papa speaking, well, if I am going to give, if I am going to give some brahmachari and sannyasi to you, you can try to make India free. But you don't know, I am going to fight, it is a question of freedom fighting. Our in mud, Always a fighting for freedom going on. What is the fighting for freedom? We like to get free from Maya. Papa speaking, I am fighting always to make them free from Maya, to arrange their eternal liberty, so that they can reach eternal world and do seva. You are going to search some temporary solution. You are going to find some temporary solution for Indian people. But I am going to find some permanent solution or bondage soul. Follow. Then the district magistrate was 500 rupees that day. On those days, 500 rupees mean not even 50,000. That, on, that, on those days, I mean eight years back, that time 500 rupees mean how many rupees you don't know. I heard from my grand grandfather again. They used to get one uh, twenty-five paisa to get a sack of rice, big, very cheap, or uh, everything. So this way, Atulananda Bandhubadda used to help Aupat to protect the dignity of Goryamat to protect the dignity of Gauriyamat and Gauriya devotees, Atulananda Bhaddamadhyay was number one. In Vrindavan, some wicked Gosai, wicked Gosai, you know Gosai? The Gosai, those were the temple cont controller. I mean, Radha Raman, Radha Ballab, oh, temple controller. They have that, according to their 
family, uh, they are family race, you know, their father, forefather, they are going to take. That's called Gosai. So, Radha Madan Mohan Gosai, Radha Raman Gosai, follow. All they, and mainly Banke Bihari Gosai, they took decision that Prabhupada coming here, he is going to make some Shudra devotees. So when he is coming to take darshan of deities, we cannot allow him to enter into temple. We cannot allow him to enter into temple. Because Gauriya Mahadis are not following rules and regulations. They are going to make some Shudra devotees. Then Atulananda Mandavadhyay, together with, I mean, our Gosai Maharaj, Sridhar Maharaj, Bhakti Pramod Puri Gushima, that time Brahmachari, all Brahmachari, they together gone, all Brahman. Then they are talking with the Gosai of, of Radha Madan Mohan. I started talking about Shastra. After watching at the face, Gosai become very stunned. We all, high class Brahmin family, all, all of us, all are God brothers. Follow. Goswami is speaking, Goswami is speaking, my family was so high that if you like to arrange the marriage of your son with daughter, with my daughter, I mean uh, my brother, any of our family, any daughter, we cannot allow. So high family. You can take information. After taking discussion and after watching their humbleness, Goswami Maharaj wanted to establish this fact that Prabhupada wanted to follow Daiva Varnasram, which is prescribed in Bhagavatam. Bhagavadji Mahapra never approved Brahmanism according to their family members' rules. I mean, heretical factor. Bhagavadji Mahapuran, Bhagavadji Mahapuran never approve, never approve Brahmanism according to the heretical factor. Bhagavadji Mahapuran, Mahabharat, Upanishad, were not everywhere. I can show you. They approve Daiva Varnasam. According to the nature and sanskar, they can be declared as Brahman. Like the case of like the case of Jabal Sattakam. Like the case of Jabal Sattakam. Jabal Sattakam, he could not speak the name of Father. So many from Upanishad, I don't like to go in details. Finally, Gautami Rishi was bound to declare, My son, you are Brahman. I am sure you are Brahman. You cannot. You cannot speak the name of your father, but I am sure you are Brahman. Otherwise, openly you cannot speak this thing. Brahmane arjabo shakshat surje shudre anarjabo lakshanam. A Brahman is always straightforward. A Brahman never likes to hide something. So you are Brahman. I can initiate you. For Daiva Varnasam, I can give so many examples, but time cannot permit. This way, Atulananda, Gosw Atulananda Prabhu, I mean our Goswami Maharaj, then Havak Seva. So many, if I go on speaking, it will become, become an epic. In South India, North India, Bombay, everywhere, where not? Big Seva. Always successful. When Gaur Mandal, Gaur Dham Parikama coming, when Ketramanda Parikama or Bindavan Dham Parikama, he used to collect all rice, all, everything, all. For Parikama, thousands of people taking prasadam, it was his responsibility. It was his responsibility. Finally, Popa took decision, this kind of genius, this kind of, you know, exceptional personality, and so Guru Bhakta, Guru Bhakta, 
I told you many times, the symptom of a devotee, symptom of a devotee, you can understand, by realizing his Guru Bhakti and Sampraday faith. Sampraday Bhakti, if, if one sadhu having tremendous faith and love for Sampraday and for Guru Parampara and strong love for Gurudev, then he is actual sadhu. Otherwise, he is not sadhu. That is the center. You should realize. So, Popa took decision to send Aprakita Prabhu to European country for preaching. European country for preaching. So, Popa wanted to consult with Sadhananda Swami. What kind of what kind of certificate? What kind of title I should give on behalf of Chaitanya Mat or Gauriya Mat so that foreign people can accept very easily? Papa wanted to consult with Sadhananda Swami. Sadhananda Swami told with humble mood, Prabhupada, if you can write in charge, missionary in charge of Gauriya Mat, this title is very good and fitting and foreign people can accept it very easily. Missionary in charge of, of Gauriya Mata, Gauriya Mission. Then, Popa write one certificate on behalf of in a Gauriya Mission and going to give. And Atulananda Bandhavadhyay, Atulananda Avar Gosai Maharaj, going to foreign country. Without taking even one rupee, one penny. Without taking any help from Prabhupada, he is going to Guru Seva. You can imagine at present. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Without any help. Even the plane ticket he is going to make. Not taking any money, one, one rupee, one nothing from Prabhupada. He is not taking even one single penny from Prabhupada. He is going to foreign country. Papichi. There he started preaching very big way, very successful preaching. Very successful preaching he was. So he started preaching here and there in European country. Here there are so many places. He started preaching. There was shortage of money. Who can give money? Because they cannot ask money from. So one time, the king of Bardhavan, one time, the king of Bardhavan going to send one self-check in his name. The king of Bardhavan, who gave, who gave one temple to my Guru Maharaj in Kalna, that same Maharaj, same Maharaj, who donated the temple, Kalna temple to my Guru Maharaj, who donated. That king going to write one and a check and going to send in the name of Atulananda Goswami, Atulananda Bandhavadhyay. And the check was received by Goswami Maharaj. You see, when I open and find one check, he wanted to go to any nearby bank to show, could you please give me, could you please give me the cash I need? The manager speaking, I cannot give you because I don't know your identity. You are Indian monk. You are Indian monk. Even if you can show your certificate, how much, how far it is authentic, that is mine. But I am a manager, I cannot give it. In the meantime, Goswami Maharaj going to point out one newspaper. One newspaper was there in the table. Immediately, Goswami was watching a newspaper in which his picture is already printed. Just previous night, there was one you know, religious assembly where you are going to hand suck with a very important personality and his picture, all reporter going to take picture and print. Then immediately, Goswami was speaking to manager, manager, who is he? What do you mean? I actually, who is he? What is the newspaper in front of you? Who is he? 
You look at me. My identity, Atulananda Bhadwade, A, B, Atulananda, huh? and what is this? And who going to handshake with me? I am a fraud. I am a cheater. Do you think? Manager looking at him and the picture. So, so you are. So, well, manager, Gosai Maharaj is suggesting, then you know my identity. Why not you? Why not use you, uh, you and us, you know, confirm? Why not you, you know, confirm that I am the same person? The manager is going to follow, going to give the cash. In England, big preaching going on. In England, big preaching. And some young man going to fight with Maharaj. Can you show your Bhagavan? We like to see your Bhagavan. Gosai Maharaj, by chance speaking, well, you can come tomorrow, I can show you Bhagavan. We like to see your Bhagavan. <laughs> you come tomorrow, I can show. All young batch, yeah, tomorrow you can come, I can show. So, the place Maharaj was uh, staying in rented room, nearby there was one park, one park, park, you know, park, uh, there Maharaj doing brass and Doing. In the meantime, suddenly discover one deity is there under a tree. Four hand, Sanka Chakra, Vasudev, Vigraha. Suddenly discover. What is this? Kusama is going, Are He is going to hand his, well, going to ha wash his hand, going to catch in the lab and started crying. He started thinking. He started praying to Prabhupada. Now the young group going to meet me. How I can show my Bhagavan? You are the only support. He is praying to Prabhupada. In the meantime, this happened. That deity, Adakshaja Vigraha, was discovered. Impossible. England, Adakshaja Vigraha possible. Under a tree. I mean, appeared. Appeared. Adhaksha the big appeared for Gosai Maharaj. So finally, Gosai Maharaj was successful to show them Adhaksha the big And Gosai Maharaj, well, Gosai Maharaj, when, when Gosai Maharaj coming down from the plane with Adhaksha the big Adhaksha the big that picture was printed in Gauriya. It was handed over to Prabhupada. Prabhupada was very happy. This way, all our Guru Bhargava, especially you know, Goswami Maharaj, they all, and also he was the editor, editor of this, you know, editor in chief of Gauriya Patrika, Hindi, English, Bengali, so important personality, so important. So after Prabhupada gone, he never wanted to make big, big temple. His heart was very nice. He told, Popad already make Chaitanya Mahat so many branches. What I can do by making branches? And our, my god brother Gosai, uh, my god brother Sila Bhakti to Madhu Goswami also making so big, big, big temple. So why should I make? Uh, better I can help them. Better I can help them, more practical. But, our Madhu Goswami Maharaj, everybody wanted to put pressure on you. God brother, you must open temple. No, what I can do? No, you can do. So, under the guidance of Madhu Goswami Maharaj, one piece of land was acquired. That the land was very important place. That is the same place where Gauran, where Nityananda Prabhu came first in Mayapur and stayed there in Nandana Charja Bhavan. That is the main place, Nandana Charja Bhavan. That is the main place. So Goswami Maharaj never wanted to make a big temple. He said, Pope had gone, okay, I can make a, some, a small bhajan kutir. Madhu Goswami Maharaj, no, you are a world-class preacher, so you can make big temple. I cannot allow you to make small temple. What I can do? No, you can make, I can help you. So, Goswami Maharaj was allowed to stay 
in the bhajan kutir of Madhav Goswami Maharaj in Chaitanya Gurimana. He was allowed to stay in the bhajan kutir of Madhav Goswami Maharaj. You stay so long as you need to, for the construction of the temple. You can construct temple. So Goswami Maharaj was bound to make temple. Goswami Maharaj was bound to make. He used to express so much dignity for all devotees. So much dignity. So when after Prabhupada gone, they were very sorry when I very painful with painful heart. They never wanted to make any big big temple, but anyway, by, by the desire of Bhagavan, he was successful to open two temples in Delhi, New Delhi, New Delhi, two temples. He was one is Indraprastha, another is another place. I've been there. So two temples in Delhi, one temple in Shukarkhetra, one temple in a rented room in Calcutta, this temple here in Vrindavan, Gosem in Vrindavan, Imlitala. That's the main place of main place of Krishna Leela. Where? Under the tree of Imlitala, Imliman, a Tarmanin, I think, you know, Tarmanin tree. Under the tree, Bhagavan Sri Krishna wanted to sow this molten, molten gold complexion. All Shakti Manjira asked, what is this? Bhagavan, Bhagavan Sri Krishna told very shortly, I can come in this form. Radharan was down to see. What is this? That is the place. That was garbage. That was totally garbage. Even if you don't like to go there. But Gosai Maharaj discovered that place, wanted to acquire that place, wanted to buy that place, wanted to clean all the place, wanted to make this very clean, and wanted to establish eternal seva there. Imlitala. Radha Gopinath. Guru Nityananda used to install there. Also, Gosei Maharaj established one bhajan kutir there in Nandagram. Very often I used to go. At present I have no time. I cannot go now. Previously I used to go. Go there. So, there was one bhajan kutir there in Nandagram, just opposite of Pavan Saravar. Pavan Saravar. You heard the name of Pavan Saravar? Nanda ground, Nanda Maharaj Bhavan, Nanda Maharaj temple, just down, Nanda, you can see the Nanda Maharaj temple. Down, there's a bhajan kutir. Many times, I used to stay there, do bhajan there. So, there. Under a tree, there is a big tree. Maybe the tree, age of the tree, maybe 3,000, 4,000, I don't know. Big tree. So big tree. And there was one cavity, cavity on the tree, cavity. And there Goswami used to, used to sit under that cavity, used to do vajan. Finally, those foolish people, they wanted to cut that tree. I was so angry. I was so angry, I wanted to beat them. Rascal number one. You cut this tree. Oh, otherwise, that? Rascal. Why you cut this? They cut that temple to make building. Bhagavan, you know, going to reject them. They don't understand the glories of Guru Vaishnava. This way. So, Gosai Maharaj and his glorification, if I go on speaking, it will take hours after hours. Very nice, you know. Follow. So, is the number one sevak of Prabhupada, enjoying full kipa of Srila Prabhupada. So if somebody is speaking, they are all useless. It's, it's not good. It's all approved by Prabhupada. Prabhupada is very happy. Personally, they doing seva. Personally. They serve Prabhupada. Personally. So Prabhupada approved it. So this way we cannot speak anyway. So, Bayam Dityo Vinivishatahashad Ishat apadasya viparja asriti 
tanmayaya ato avajat tam budho bhaktaika esam gurudeva tatma. This is the slope. Gurudeva tatma means, what do you mean by Gurudeva tatma? Popad used to explain this. Gurudeva tatma means, when you can realize that Gurudev and Bhagavan non-different from each other, when you are going to sell your heart on the lotus feet of Gurudev, that is called Gurudeva Tatma. Your heart is now sold unto a lotus feet of Gurudev. Gurudev is your heart and soul, that is called Gurudeva Tatma. With this intimacy, you can serve Gurudev. If there is some barrier, if there is some barrier of Maya, gapping of Maya, surely you cannot serve Guru Path Padma. It is not possible for you. So, anyway, yesterday I told one slok you can, you can remember. Balavan Adaru Yasu Nasad Guru Padambuje Srutoi Ropi Tasasasasrair Krishna Bhakti Najayat. Srinivasa Jaja told, so long as you are not going to develop tremendous attraction unto the lotus feet of Guru Pad Padma, till then, till then, you cannot get Krishna Bhakti. Maybe you are a, you are a very important scholar, eh? renowned personality, maybe you are an erudite scholar, but still, you cannot get Krishna Bhakti. Because, you have no strong relationship with Guru Pad Padma. So, to build up strong relationship with Guru Padma means you are always ready to sacrifice your life and soul all for Guru Shiva, that is a syndrome. Bhayam dipidditi yavinivishatahashat ishat apatasya viparja sriti tanmayaya atob budho avajatvam budho bhaktaik esham gurudeva tatma. Vanchakalpaturusikipasindhubhavishya. Patitanam Pavanabhavishnath Yornamo.